Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how to answer this one. For this one, we can use about complementary solutions. So I will put about yc equals to e to the power of lambda s. Later that, we need to find first the derivative of yc and we have lambda e to the power of lambda s. So when we do first the derivative of this one, we keep the same e to the power of lambda s. Later that, we need to do first the derivative of lambda s. You got lambda. Now we go to second the derivative of yc and we have lambda square e to the power of lambda s. So we have this one and this one. So I will put this one go in here and here. This one go in here and here. This one go in here and here. So we have like this. So we can do about factorization of this one, similar for this one. So we have like this. And this one. So we need to find the solution of this one and this one. So the solution of this one, we have lambda equals to negative number 2 plus 3i and lambda equals to negative number 2 minus 3i. This is about imaginary unit. So for the second one, this one we have lambda equals to number 3 plus 2i and lambda equals to number 3 minus 2i. So for the first one, y equals to yc, and that is about c number 1. This is about the constant number 1, e to the power of negative number 2 plus 3i multiplied by s. And we have C number 2, E to the power of negative number 2, negative 3i multiplied by S. So in this one, we can write like this. So we have C number 1, E to the power of negative 2s, cosine 3s. And we have C number 2 e to the power of negative 2s side 3s 
So this one, we do the same. And we have e to the power of 3s sine 2s and c number 2 e to the power of 3s cosine 2s this is the end thank you for watching